Mr Mayor, I'd like to start with some timely words from Martin Luther. Laws can restrain the heartless, they cannot change the heart. It seems that in Kensington and Chelsea, we're all too used to a polite and consensual way of working, where enforcement officers are the proverbial hand on the elbow, steering residents and business people through the inconvenience of local regulations. We often imagine that a word in the ear, a jokey notice, wrong time, wrong place, environmental crime scene is enough. Sadly, Mr Mayor, times have changed, and we have welcomed change, both good and bad. So who's going this year to mip him, the world's property market, 11th to 14th March in Cannes? What a terrible chore it will be for the senior property officers forced to attend. Champagne parties on the beach. We hear Hammersmith and Fulham officers always go as they are open for business. Must we follow like sheep? At what price, Mr Mayor? We're often told by senior officers that we must maximise our off assets, but not at any price. Well, we're paying the price of our treachery. We've sold the soul of our borough and opened our doors to the most voracious developers in the world. And this is the result. Pop stars and footballers are queuing to get in. The new royals are better at it as they earn their money. And just ahead of them are unscrupulous developers and their corner-cutting contractors. Let me tell you about a typical week at Warnington Green. For a councillor, casework from the development in progress and from the new homes is already taking up more time than it did before. Parking. The civil enforcement officer has an impossible task. Lorries park without permission in residence bays. He asks them to move on or they get a ticket. On a good day they move, only to move back in five minutes. On a bad day he's subjected to a volley of curses. He has a patience of the saint. Construction traffic. After months of ignored complaints to the council by our residents and councillors, in December, in desperation, we formed a human chain across Portobello Road to stop lorries entering illegally. Having achieved attention of our overstretched traffic and highways officers, the contractors on Ardmore were served a number of notices. They have already breached them all. Just last week, when I asked a lorry driver to move his lorry from the pavement that I wanted to walk along, he cursed violently at me. Employment and apprenticeship agreements. Who enforces or monitors this? We were told there would be hundreds of new jobs and apprenticeships, but most of these, Mr Mayor, were legacy apprentices, i.e. they brought them from their last job. Very few openings for local people. And those that were comprised watching paint pots, I kid you not, while being subjected to racist comments, which has been notified to the police. Enforcement of design code and planning permission. Design of the new buildings in the borough is very simple. Large rectangular recessed windows, recessed balconies with glass panels, lots of brick cladding, and a ground floor cladded with pretend limestone, maybe a bit of bronze cladding here and there. They're also similar, they must come from a pattern book. And yet, at Warnington Green, even this, they've managed to fuddle up. A visit from planning officers confirmed this, but th this took me no less than five blogs over the summer holiday to draw attention to it, as they would not take my email seriously. We heard last month about the problems of getting insurance and compensation for damp mould, actual leaks and two collapsed ceilings. And yet we're told there's no enforcement on the land that could help residents and until their life and health is in danger. Market enforcement officers have been on hand quite fruitlessly to support market traders and others who rent lockups that have been flooded from the buildings above. Our famous Moroccan fish food, food store has had stock ruined no less than three times with a loss of thousands of pounds worth of stock. Ardmore refused to compensate neither the people whose property has been ruined nor the businesses whose stock has been ruined. Who is helping them? Is there any enforcement in the land that can compel Ardmore to pay up? Mr Mayor, I could go on for days with this tale of woe. This is our fault and we must protect our residents from the outrageous, careless, incompetent and negligent contact of the voracious developers we have welcomed into our midst. I really feel for the good residents of Bowles Court about to suffer 20 years of noise, dust, traffic and disruption if they are not better protected than those of Warnington Green. If our laws cannot change their heart, we must impose the laws by force, review our staffing levels and create a team who can adequately control the ravening hordes coming our way. Thank you.